What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. I'm Justin Tech and today I've got a ton of Apple rumors. Everything. We've got VR headsets to foldable phones to new iMacs, new MacBook Pros. There have been so many rumors coming from Mark Gurman over at Bloomberg and he's a very reliable source when it comes to the Apple rumor sphere. So I'm going to tell you all about them right now. Let's go. Let's start with a MacBook Air 13 inch. Now this one will be a little bit smaller and thinner possibly because they're considering slimming down that bezel around the screen. The laptop may also get the MagSafe charger back. Now this was on older models of the laptops and that's something that I really loved because if you walked through the wire, it wouldn't pull the computer with it. It would pull off and your laptop would stay where it was. It will also have the Apple Silicon, uh, possibly the M2 on this version since the M1 was announced this past November. And lastly, it will have two USB 4 ports, which are as speedy as Thunderbolt 3 at 40 gigabits per second. They have been talking at Apple about a 15 inch version for this MacBook Air, but probably not for this iteration, uh, maybe for the next one. And this new MacBook Air, you should expect it at the second half of this year or early 2022. Next, we've got some updates to the MacBook Pros. Apple is reportedly working on a 16 inch and 14 inch redesign of the MacBook Pro. We could probably call this the do-over laptop because a lot of the features that they're adding or getting rid of um, kind of make the laptop resemble one of the older versions of the laptop, which I'm totally down for. But we also need to be like, yo, Apple, I think you realize that those were mistakes. Um, so good on you. I don't, I don't know, but totally welcomed. Here's what they're doing. First of all, let's talk about this touch bar. They want to get rid of it. I'm totally fine with that. I've never been a big fan. It's an OLED screen. It's probably expensive to put in the computer. And the touch bar has always created more of a hassle for me. It's never made my life easier. It's only made it harder. I can't look up at the screen and press buttons on it. I have to look down. I actually have it on the standard setting so that I can just see the keys that would normally be there. But I personally just don't get that tactile response that you get um, from keys. I need that. What about you? Let me know in the comments. Do you like the touch bar? Are you mad that they're going to get rid of it? Um, I for one am totally down for it. And that's also an OLED screen that adds a lot of money to the price of this laptop. So getting rid of that will allow for a lot of other things like this. They're bringing back ports. They're said to be bringing back an SD card slot, the MagSafe charger like the iPad Air, and I would guess at least four Thunderbolt 4 ports would make sense. This is going to resemble something like those models from 2015. You had the MagSafe SD card slot, two Thunderbolt ports, two USB-A ports, and that three and a half millimeter audio jack. No more dongles. They heard us. Everyone was making fun of Apple with all these dongles. And it was also really annoying. So good on you, Apple. Good on you. The new Pros are said to have a flat edge design that's similar to the iPhone 12 with no curved edges like current models. I'm sure we'll also see the inclusion of the Apple Silicon processor, the M1, or maybe the M2 in this case. And with the display, it's very possible that we will see mini LED. This is what they're putting on a lot of TVs right now, and this will be great on this laptop. Mini LED technology will allow for a thinner and lighter design and give us a lot of OLED like features such as improved wide color gamut, high contrast and dynamic range and truer blacks. These models are expected to release in the third quarter of this year. So ready. All right, let's take a break from Macs and let's talk VR. Yeah, I said VR. Apple is reportedly working on a VR headset that they're going to release in 2022. Now, we all knew that they were going to be coming out with AR devices in 2023. That's been long rumored, and it makes logical sense for the iPhone to eventually live on our faces and as augmented reality. Now, this VR headset, there are some interesting things about it. It's a standalone device that they're really only expecting to sell about one unit per store per day. Right now, the only standalone VR headset on the market is the Oculus Quest, which I talk about a lot on this channel because I think VR is awesome and I'm obsessed. 
This headset is more meant to pave the way to that AR headset by allowing developers to do to begin developing for this headset so that when that AR headset comes out, there will be more available for that wider audience. Next, Apple has been testing out foldable iPhone screens. They haven't built an actual prototype of the phone. They're just simply working with phones and we aren't gonna see foldable screens in this next iteration, but they could be on the horizon. I, for one, am a big fan of foldable screens and I think that they work really well. For example, I have been playing around with the Galaxy Z Flip and I just have, not only do I have a lot of fun with it, but I love the size of it in my pocket and how it just expands to that full screen. Samsung also has the Galaxy Fold and then there's the Motorola Razr. So we have seen this with a lot of other screens and I'm looking forward to seeing if Apple does go through with this. Another thing Apple has been testing is an under the screen fingerprint scanner. We are seeing those with the new Galaxy S21, 21 plus 21 Ultra. I've gotta say, um, I love the finger ID. Look at how quick that happens, there we go. Um, I miss it, especially wearing my mask and using Face ID has been just such an issue lately using this phone and just quickly opening it up has been really great. Okay, lastly, let's talk updates to the Mac. There are a few. First, let's start with the iMac. The iMac is set to get the biggest redesign in almost a decade. You know how that iMac has that big chin at the bottom? They wanna get rid of that and make it look more like Apple's Pro Display XDR monitor. These iMacs will come in both 21 and a half and 27 inches and will most likely have that M1 chip or the M2 possibly, who knows? Uh, and then also they'll come with an optional matte nano texture finish, which allows for like non-reflective, a non-reflective screen. And who knows, maybe we'll also see that mini LED technology on these screens as well. For the Mac Pro, or what some people call the cheese grater, they will be updating that computer and they'll also be releasing a smaller version that gives off major Power Mac G4 Cube vibes. Right now they're saying these Mac Pros may not have the Apple Silicon and may stick with Intel, uh, but only time will tell and I will let you know on this channel as soon as I know because I am so excited about this stuff. If you guys wanna see more videos like this or you enjoyed it, be sure to like this video. I put videos out every Thursday morning. Sometimes I'm a little off, like today, sorry. But make sure you guys subscribe, click that bell for alerts, that way you know as soon as my videos drop. I'm Justin and I'll tag you later.